Good day everyone. My name is Oketeru Kende James from Kungu Wikimedia News Aigu. And thank you for joining me today. I'm here to talk about the importance of Wikinews in African languages with a particular focus on the Google Wikinews as a model for unlocking the potential of African languages. So in my lightning talk I will emphasize how the addition of audio speaking news to Google Wikinews articles is making it possible to reach uh, a wider range of people, including those with low educational background. Now, why is it so important that we have Wikinews in African languages? The reason is that Africa is a home to more than 2,000 different languages. And when these languages are spoken, they actually, you know, reflect what parts of Africa we come from. And these languages also represent our unique cultures, our histories, and beliefs. Wikinews now gives Africans the opportunity to actively participate in the creation and sharing of news in our indigenous languages. But over the years, a lot of African languages have been marginalized. They have been seen as insignificant. Simply because these languages cannot be used in institutions, they cannot be used in teaching, in writing, and in research making. Since they can only be understood by specific African groups associated with that particular language. So, that makes people feel that African languages are of no value. But Wikinews has now empowers Africans to shape the narrative, to see that there is a lot of things we can accomplish with our languages, they are important, and to fight against language marginalization and preserve our linguistic heritage. And this makes Google Wiki News to now serve as a model for other African languages. Gungbe is spoken generally in Benin Republic and some parts of Nigeria, which is Badagri to be precise. Badagri is a town in Lagos that shares border with Benin Republic. So Gungbe is spoken in these areas by approximately 1.5 million people. And the journey of Gumbe Wiki News actually started in August 2022 from incubator with at least two to four articles daily and consistently for eight months, yes, before it was finally launched on the 20th of April, 2023. And it became the first African language edition of Wikinews. So the Gungbe community have paved the way for African languages on Wikinews. Now, what are the problems faced by African languages? Many African languages lack resources. For instance, some native languages lack standardized written forms. This means that there is no standard or specific way to write or spell words, which is making it difficult to develop educational materials. This lack of standardization has, you know, led to confusion, miscommunication, and also hindering the use and promotion of these languages. It has also led to the extinction of over 200 African languages, thus making our younger generations to now prefer speaking dominant languages over our mother tongues. We can see the rate at which people, most especially our younger generations, the rate at which they want to speak French, they want to speak English and Arabic. So, lack of resources is part of the problem facing African languages. 
lack of recognition and digital presence are also part of the problems. Illiteracy is also affecting people, you know, hindering them from having access to news information. So since they have low education background, they find it very difficult to assess news information. So acknowledging those problems will be community now thought of what they can do to, you know, make sure that information reaches everyone, regardless of their educational background. And that's where the addition of audio spoken news came in. And these, you know, have had uh, um, a powerful impact on our people. The, the addition of audio speaking news has now make it easier for those with low educational background, those who cannot read to now have access to news information. The audio speaking news has also, you know, increased our engagements and widened our audience. And that reminds me of our experience when we started sharing links to wiki news pages with audio speaking news to a WhatsApp group we created. I can remember that when we started sharing the links, reactions from people, their coming through voice notes, their encouragements, their commendations, shows that they actually love getting information in their language and they love what we are doing. So what Google has done is to make sure that regardless of people's education, their age, whether young or old, whether they are in rural communities, they can have access to accurate and relevant news. So, Gungbe is promoting knowledge democratization and inclusive participation. And the success of Gungbe Wiki News now presents an opportunity for other African languages to replicate in order to unlock their own potential. And that can be possible through collaboration. Yes, collaboration with people who speak the language, with local communities, is very important for the development of new language editions. So let me quickly take you to the Wiki News homepage to see how it actually looks like. Let me quickly do that. Now, this is how the Wiki News homepage looks like. So, the Gungbe Wiki News project has become a pioneering force in unlocking the potential of African languages. So, as a Wikimedia community, we must continue to support, to provide the necessary resources, and fostering the growth of African languages, edition of Wiki News. And together, we can herald a new era of inclusive knowledge sharing and cultural preservation for Africa. Thank you.